Welcome if you kiss. Okay, let's have a look at what is happening for you over the next two weeks and what it is we can see if there's any, you know, help that we can help you with and guide you through this time using first off the Sacred Light Oracle and the Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, I'm Juanita and let's get started. So, there's a quick shuffle. Okay. Starting out here, a fucus with magical alchemy. Okay. Innovation, ingenuity, curiosity, ahead of your time. So there could be something that you're conjuring up. I feel like... I feel like for you the wheels are turning like there's something that you're creating or you're wanting to actually um, to put forth. I'm oh, sorry, I should show you this card, shouldn't I? I really feel like if you kiss that there's... Um, This need for the belief in yourself to know that what it is that you are thinking of or wanting to. Sometimes I wish I could zoom in on these cards. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm just trying to make out what these things are here and I cannot for the life of me work them out. But anyhow. Yeah, it's like there's something that you want to um, create, I suppose. But you're not quite, I don't know if you're not quite sure how or you don't really believe that you could succeed at it. I'm not too sure. Um, it doesn't feel like either of those. It feels like there's something else going on there. Or what that is but let's have a look I need two more cards for a few kiss give me more insight into this magical alchemy mm, possibilities and thunderbolt okay interesting so let's have a look at possibilities first um No, I want to do both together. You know, if you kiss, I actually wonder if some of you are quite um, at, at a crossroads at the moment. And there could have been, with this Thunderbolt card here, something unexpected that has come in and happened and caused things to crash down for you. Um, and I feel like you are potentially feeling quite weighed down by what it is that has happened and you're just not sure what you want to do. Um, it would be an idea. See how the eagle, eagle here is rising up above the terrain, right? So this is what this is saying to you, is for you to try and get a bird's eye view of... of what your options are, okay, um, for the best direction to go in. And I feel as though also it's important for you to really tap into your intuition at this time because the eagle goes above, right, looks, you know, um, looking for prey and it flies around and glides around very silently, very quietly, and will spot something that um, they would like to go in, you know, for the kill type of thing, right? And um, the eagle listens to its intuition for the precise timing when that will be the best so that he can become successful or she can become successful. So I feel like this is something that you may very well need to um, 
do for yourself. I feel like with this card here, there are is is it could be that you have ideas inside of you coming out. It could be that you are um, trying to create something and it really is about trusting your instincts in order to make that happen okay language of light rediscovery humble wanderer communication love this this is i feel like for you if you because is about discovering who you are rediscovering who you are because I feel as though for some of you there's been um, this sense of getting lost along the way a little bit. Um, you know, being making your way down this path and it could very well be that some of you are questioning who you are. Who am I? And really looking at that and, you know, this could be what this magical alchemy is about, that you are looking at recreating yourself in a sense and really getting back to the core of who you truly are um going within you know really um having this um sense of of love for yourself genuine love for yourself because you look at her energy here just this she's kind of hugging herself like oh my gosh i love you so much you know and and i feel like maybe that could help you um to tap into your you know, these ideas or or help you with this direction that you would, uh, you know, looking at or trying to decide on. Um, yeah, having patience with yourself. See, this again is about growing something, okay, and realizing that what it is that you want to grow is going to take time, but it is worth putting the energy into. Um... Yeah, I really feel like you're questioning things at the moment. And it could very well be with this Thunderbolt card that you are actually looking at, do I need to put an end to, you know, a situation in your life? Do you, you know, yeah. Because it's like you've taken time to grow something, but you're questioning whether this is still the path that you want to be on. Okay, fighting. This could be either external or internal. Um, but I do feel, I focus that for some of you, you feel as though you have to constantly have this guard up, like you're almost ready um, to go to battle. Um, and it could very well be that you have um been in a situation for so long be it, you know at home at work whatever that this is kind of a a natural state for you to enter into every time you walk into a workplace or you know, come across a certain person or whatever, it feels like you're automatically putting those walls up. And this is, like, if you look at the difference between the two energies of these cards, um, I feel as though, and even this one here, can you see that? Oh, yeah, I'm trying to make sure I can see what you're seeing. <laughs> um, like, this is going to, you know, going, giving yourself this, this nurturing and allowing yourself to grow and being patient with yourself is going to help you take this suit of armor off, okay? And get out of this constant, like, you know how it's the fight or flight type of thing? I feel like this there's always this need to be ready to fight. Um, and it doesn't mean to say you're fighting. And this could even be internally, like I say. Um, inner Oracle. Okay, you are the channel. Deja Vu, self-fulfilling prophecy. This, I feel as though, is bringing something into balance here. Something that's really weighing heavy on your mind. 
and again I feel like this crossroad is coming in here that you're not quite sure what it is that you want to do and it's um it's weighing you down which is interesting um It could be that you've had, these are familiar feelings that you're having right now, um, and you, it's time to let them go, letting go, okay, so you could be holding on to something that you, ah, oh, yeah, I see, so there's something that is maybe coming to an end, and you don't, you're fighting to keep it going, and it is, um, or you feel like you've been battling to keep it going, and it's really about, you know, making that choice to let that go and start to head towards new pastures, I want to say. And, yeah, because I feel like this will just help to bring things into balance for you, okay? Um, really tapping into your inner knowing, um, because I feel like deep down inside you know that it's time, but you're just holding on, really holding on. Um, and this could even be holding on to scenarios that have happened in the past and holding on to them in order to protect yourself so that you don't forget, um, but that's not actually serving you at the moment, okay? Consciousness, this is a new beginning. This is like... To me, I feel like this is about wiping the slate clean, um, clearing all this stale energy that's around you from um, this situation that has needed to come to an end, uh, if it hasn't already, okay? It needs to come to an end. Sorry, putting the card down here, not even showing you. Golden ray of light. Golden light ray. <laughs> I'll just make up my own words for the cards, um, love and laughter, receiving and giving gifts, passionate projects, yeah, tapping inside of you, seeing what it is you're passionate about, and going in that direction, right, actually letting your, yourself have some fun, okay, because what happens is when we don't allow that, everything does become this big burden, and um, and I think you really kind of need to let your hair down a little bit, and and give yourself permission to not let this heaviness weigh you down. Oh, it's like they want to flip. We've got past lives here. And I feel as though this is about you bringing... Oh, okay. This is... I've just heard generation... Breaking the generation generational chain I feel this is hmm, okay so this could be a even a family business that has happened um it could be an arranged marriage which is interesting getting that coming through um there's something that needs to be broken here and this uh, I think you're really afraid of oh yeah Everything's going a bit haywire here. Um, I think you're really afraid of stepping away from what you know. It's like things have been set in stone and the stone's crumbling um, because the it was as though, okay, just bear with me here if you because there was a foundation laid, but the wrong ingredients were put into the mix to lay the foundation. And so the foundation is crumbling, and what needs to happen is, is the correct mix or the correct balance of ingredients needs to be put in to build the new foundation. Hope that makes sense. What have we got? Flip up here. Maturity. Yep. Allow this to grow. I feel like I feel like there's something ancient. I've had this with another sign that I don't know who it was. But I feel like there's something, or it could be cycles that have gone through the generations. Um 
that what has happened is it's caused a, um, a garden to grow which has not been incredibly healthy throughout the time. And so it's up to you now to plant the seeds for a, a garden that's going to produce um, a healthy environment. Yeah. Crystal Kingdom, slowing down materialism, psychic debris. Yep, clearing your energy for sure. Um, really coming in to yourself and working out what's important. Okay, realizing that all the gadgets in the world aren't necessarily what is um, going to, you know, that, that's not, well, I feel like that you feel you can feel that that's not fulfilling you like you may have thought it was. Okay. Um, yeah. And really taking that time to go inside. Yeah. And um, this will also help to bring the correct people around you to help you build this new world. Because it's like you're building a whole new world. You could be starting right over right now, you know. And I feel as though that this transition into this new life may very well not have been easy and it may not have even been your choice, but something definitely quite sudden has happened here for some of you. And you actually may have been forced to let go of things. And that it could be the emotions that you're fighting, you know existence wow yeah see this is what i was seeing with the breaking of these chains before right existence okay okay so connecting yourself with the existence of all that is because you are the the universe is inside of you you are the universe okay there is actually no separation aside from what we see visually uh, but I feel more so to the point of Fucus is that breaking these chains, right, being a rebel, okay, is not necessarily about rebellion as such, but it's about throwing the chains off and allowing yourself to be who you truly are, to allow the truth of you to come out okay and there is nothing more powerful in the world than someone being true to themselves and standing in their power okay so there may be people around you that don't want that to happen or don't you know believe you should go a certain direction in a certain way but you know in your heart of hearts where you truly want to go and maybe this thunderbolt has been a blessing in disguise um, because now you have the option to create what it is you want to create. But I do still feel like there's a bit of this pullback um, to be like, I should be doing this. Um, look at this. Here is Archangel Michael, heart of a warrior. Yeah, that's totally you. I can feel this from you. You have the heart of a warrior. Divine protection and synchronicity. Oops. <laughs> um, the eagle is the eagle again for me you know here we go and even this one here right your spirit animal may very well be an eagle okay but it is really about um drawing on the the power of the eagle this wise knowingness of this eagle you have this within you okay and um and i and also asking for assistance from archangel michael knowing that you are protected in a divine way, okay? And also looking at any signs and synchronicities um, that you may think, oh, I'd really like to do this. I've always wanted to do this all my life. And then something happens along those lines where everything just starts falling into place, right? And so following your heart. And when you do that... Um, Things will work for you, okay? <clears throat> I feel as though there's... What, what is this? What is this? 
because this is not what I usually get with this card. I feel as though for you, Apucus, that you, it's almost as though he's looking, if I put it that way, he's looking, you know, imagine the acrobats up in the air, right? And he's looking up at them, like, are they going to make it? Are they going to be able to get each other this time? You know, that's swinging back and forth. And are they going to grasp each other's hands? And I feel like, this is a matter of you getting your mindset right and believing you can do it because this there's this internal battle again going on that oh but i couldn't do that you know i couldn't achieve that and i potentially might not be successful with that and what if i fail you know and forgetting that those lessons are learned along the way regardless of the outcome you know, and then whatever that outcome, you have tools in order to help you, yeah, projections, these are your fears that you are projecting out, um, which is stopping you from actually making this change in your life, okay, so divine creation, acceptance, personal commitments, euphoria, okay, so, I really, the personal commitments is jumping out at me here um, because it could very well be that for some of you, you feel like you have to continue or you have to go in a certain direction because you've made commitments to some degree or another. But what I want to say about that is that Deeper still, there's a personal commitment to you and yourself that you made when you came to this earth, right? You had, you have a mission to achieve, yeah? And I feel as though that's the personal commitment that needs to be honoured, okay? Um, mm, yeah, because... It's like, okay, it's like this, sorry, I don't even know what I'm doing here. I just know what the message is. <laughs> it's like there's these two lives, okay? It's like there's this life that you've been living and there's this other life that you're heading towards, okay? And, and right now you're in between. It's a matter of merging the two lives together so that you can achieve what it is you want to achieve okay um and really creating the world that you want to create and i feel as though again this is about what garden do you want to grow you know wh what do you want that to look like like seriously sit down and envision what it is you want to create here because i do feel like being at this crossroads is an opportunity for you to see how you can make things grow, okay? And it may take time. Well, it will take time, right? Anything does take time. So probably I would say, especially with the patience card here, is knowing and having the patience for... Um, allowing whatever it is that you want to achieve to grow okay well I feel like that came out so muddled up um, and I, yeah okay so yeah because these the merging of this here it's like this is what you want to happen but at the moment these could be separated and um, and you want to be able to bring that together uh, but there's a lot that has to be put in place and a lot that has to be created for that to actually happen. And so it is really about being patient and it could be that you want to give up because it's like it's never going to happen. Um, but it really is making that decision right now, that personal commitment to yourself and your heart. Not your mind, but your heart. Okay, sphere of light, healing hands, empathetic quali empathetic qualities and animal wisdom so this is i feel like it could be a different line 
of work that you want to go down, okay, but it's understanding and tapping into your inner wisdom and letting this guide you, okay, because inside you have this sphere of light, right, inside, you can see this wise lady is holding this, yes, and then tapping into your intuition to let this light lead the way, to let your light lead the way, yeah, um, because I feel like there could be a little bit too much in the head and not enough in the heart and not letting the heart lead the way and I feel like because this is where this sphere of light resides in your heart and um, yeah, I hope that makes sense. Comparison. Comparison. Um, I feel as though with this one, this is this kind of lack of faith in yourself that you can actually achieve what it is you want to achieve. Um, and again sitting down because there's all the it's like all the pieces of the puzzle for you right now aren't visible that you could actually complete this um vision but i want to say all the pieces are there at the moment you might feel like some of the pieces of the puzzle are missing but they're actually all there and it's just a matter of looking at things in a different light okay um I feel as though some of you may be looking at this tree here and seeing that this is stronger and more solid and, and yet you feel like you're actually this tree here, not realizing that this tree here is actually just as capable and um, just as um, has, has the ability to create what this tree here can create okay it's it's really tr changing your perspective on things so focus it's um in and, and really coming in and believing in yourself that you have the means or the know-how to do what it is that you want to do okay because there's something really amazing coming for you or in in something amazing that you can head towards What's holding you back is this disbelief that it could be achieved. And you'll come up across you'll come across obstacles and roadblocks and things like that. But that's where you gain the knowledge and get the tools of how to overcome those and how to get around those. Okay? Spirit guides looking for signs again. A philosophical philosophical discussion and supervision asking your guides for help okay um realizing that there are tools and there are concepts that are out there that will be able to help you pave the way for this to actually be achieved healing has come out i don't feel like i want to take it but healing if there's anything in your past that you need to heal that is stopping you from actually believing you can do this this stopping this internal fighting okay then um yeah it is a matter of healing and letting that go for good okay um these fears these insecurities all right um that you are projecting out that are stopping you transformation it's time for this transformation to happen it is necessary for this transformation to happen you've got some really 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 big cards here you've got some massive cards here and um this is an inevitable wow you've got like one two three four five major arcanas here you've yeah like this is exciting might not feel exciting for you um but it is exciting because there's going to be a huge change around in your life but yeah 
you're, you're feeling it and you are tired. And um, I just want to say to um, share the load. Share the load. You know, look at other ways that you can actually, because it's like you've been trying to build this, but all the parts, they're all there, but they just haven't been put into the correct place. Okay, a bit like what I was saying before about the foundation and not the right mix or the right, right, um, balance of ingredients but you've got everything you need it's just sorting it out so that you can actually piece the puzzle together and get it completed okay um yeah yeah that's really i think i think we got there <laughs> um that was a little bit cryptic because i didn't i don't really understand what it's saying you know only you do because it's it's applying to you but yeah so yeah, I really hope that helps you a few kiss and um, good luck over the next two weeks, okay? See you, bye-bye.